Okay, so for this unit, we're doing ratios. So ratios are a portion of something. If I have like a piece of chocolate, I cut it into three pieces. I give myself two and I give you one. That's a two to one ratio, right? I gave myself two, gave you one. It can be written these three different ways. Two to one, two over one, two to one. So the amount that I gave you to the amount I gave me is a one to two ratio. The amount that I kept to the entire amount is a two to three ratio. The amount that I gave you to over the total is a one to three ratio. So these are different ways you can write ratios. A ratio is a relation that compares two numbers or quantities. It's different from proportions. Proportions are statements or equations that um, shows that two ratios are equal pretty much. Like, you know, if I ate half a pizza, that's the same thing as eating four eighths. Right, it's still a half of something. Okay, so that's what a ratio is. This unit is not that long at all. The beginning is just going over ratios and tape diagrams. So this is called a double number line. So you can see here, this goes up one, two, three, and this here goes up two, four, six. Based on the ratio shown in the double number line, how many wool cards does Julian need to trade for four or cards? So Ju if Julian had four, well, this is going up two, four, six. This would be eight. So Julian would need eight wool cards for four or cards. And we can use double number lines to figure that out. The following diagram describes the number of grandparents and cousins whom the Santos family visited on vacation. So four grandparents, six cousins, it's a four to six ratio. This can be simplified as a fraction to two thirds. So it can also be simplified as a ratio that way, which is a two to three ratio. Each donor pack contains three food coupons and five raffle tickets. So this needs to go up by threes for the food, and it needs to go up by five for raffle tickets, which this one does not. So they just wanted to see what double number line works best. This one is the correct one. The double number line shows how many meters a dragonfly can fly in one second. So in one second, he can go 25. So that means in two seconds, he'll go 50. Three seconds will be 75. Four seconds would be 100. So you can see this is going up by one and that's going up by 25, right? Because it's a one to 25 ratio. If I multiply this by eight, I would have to multiply this by eight. And so 25 times eight would get me 200. So you can see here that does not work. If I multiplied this by three and this by three, I would get 75. So you see this one would work. You can multiply by five, you get 125. Multiply by 10, you get 250. And so that's a proportional relationship, I guess you can say. And uh, that's how you would deal with equal um, equivalent ratios, they're called. Okay, so here that goes up by four, that goes up by 28. They wanna know which is correct. Well, you need to see how this one, how, you know, how did I get to 28? Well, we know this counted by ones. But how did this count? Did it count by sevens? And so you kind of have to play around with it, figure it out, right? It's not going to go from seven to 13 to 20 to 28. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be consistent in the way that it increases when dealing with double number lines. Each time the Timberwolves score one touchdown, these things happen. The mascot does four black flips. So one touchdown, they do four black flips. Uh, the cheerleader sets off six confetti canyons. How many touchdowns did the Timberwolves score if the cheerleaders set off 18? Well, one touchdown is six confetti canyons. Two would be 12. Three would be 18. So that means that the football team here... Is this even football? Yes, it is, because touchdowns. So um, it would be three touchdowns. That quiz was already started. Let's go. Back to quiz two. We already did quiz one. Where did I end up? How did I get here? How did I get to algebra one? I was in the ratios unit. Here we go. 
Okay, let's make a table. Six pizzas is 39 pearls. So if we want to find out how many pearls per pizza, we would need to do the amount of pearls divided by pizzas. So 39 divided by 6 gets you 6.5. So 6.5 pearls per pizza, right? It's a 6.5 to 1 ratio. So if I multiply this by 4, I need to multiply this by 4. And that would get me 26 which is the answer for this one. Okay, so then how do I get to 13? Well, if I multiply this by two, I get 13. So I need to multiply this by two and I get two. And that's how you fill it out. Using lots of multiplication and division will be used when doing ratios. All right, so for this one, Elton is a candle maker. Each 15 centimeter long candle he burns so 15 centimeter long, burns evenly for six hours. This is centimeters to hours. If he had a 45 centimeter long candle, how long would it take to burn? Well, 15 times three, what's six times three? 18. Kermit's favorite iced tea uses 15 tea bags in every two liters of water. So he uses 15 tea bags. I'll just abbreviate for every two liters of water. Peggy made a 12 liter batch and she used 90 tea bags. So if we wanted to see if these were equivalent, I would do 15 divided by two, which gets me 30. I mean, no, it doesn't, <laughs> sorry. 15 divided by two gets me 7.5. If I did 90 divided by 12, I would also get 7.5. So these are equivalent. So what would Kermie think of Peggy's iced tea? It's just right because it's proportional. These are proportional. 15 times six would get you 90 and two times six would get you 12, right? So this is just a bigger batch pretty much. And so you're dealing with equivalent ratios for the uh, second part of the unit. And so that's when you'll be multiplying and dividing quite a bit. So for example, here, he wants, okay, so uh, meat, he uses three pieces of meat and four pieces of vegetable. So three times six is 18. Four times six is not 30. Three times, what gets us 20? Not, that one's not gonna work. Three times 10 gets us 30, four times 10 gets us 40. Okay, that works. Three times 15 gets us 45, four times 15 gets us 60. So it's gonna be the last three, those are our only options. Uh, three times, let's see, 72 divided by three. Three times 24 gets us 72, four times 24 gets us 96. Feel free to use a calculator if you need to. And so, like I said, this part of the unit is just dealing with equivalent ratios. A pet groomer gave knife baths, 15 nail trims, eight brush outs, and five ear cleanings. For every five nail trims, the groomer gave three of what? Okay, so if we divided this by three and this by three, that would work, right? 15 divided by three is five. Nine divided by three is three. So that would be three baths. You kind of have to see which one's going to make an you know, equivalent ratio with it for that. All right, let's go to the final part of this unit. Here you have a tape diagram, kind of looks like pieces of tape. Uh, there are five ducklings in every for every one adult, right? So five ducklings, one adult, total of six ducks. So which would get us 24? So then you have to do the ratios. This is a five to one, which would be then 10 to two, which would then be 15 to three, which would be 20 to four. And you can see here, if you added those together, you get 24. So when there's 20 ducklings, there are four adult ducks, which is a total of 24 ducks. All right, let's do a few more and we're done with this unit. Um, so using the coordinate plane, this is your X axis, your Y axis. So you need to go to the X point, which is at one and the Y point, which is 30. You need to see where they meet and that's where you plot the point. So then we need to fill this out. A one to 30 ratio would then be 
um, 2 to 60 and 3 to 90. And so we need to plot that. So when x here is 2, we go up to the 60. When x here is 3, we go up to the 90. You can see here, it even makes a straight line. So that's how you would graph these points. OK, so 2.54 meters is 1 inches. So 2.54, if I multiply that by 2, I would get 5.08. So this then would be 2. OK, so then I need to do 2. So 1 times 10 is 10. So I need to do 2.54 times 10. And I get 25.4. So we're pretty much doing the same thing the entire unit. Lots of the same thing, just different types of questions. All right, so for this one, match the following ratios to what they describe. The ratio of photography, photography students to chess students, that's an eight to four ratio, which can be simplified as two to one. The ratio of photography students to all students. Okay, so there are eight photography students and there are 32 total, which can be simplified as one fourth. And that will leave the last one to one eighth because the ratio of chess students, which is four to all students, which is 32, is simplified to one to eight. So you definitely should know how to simplify just like you simplify fractions. And uh, of course, you want to know your multiplication and division tables as well. Um, OK, so I can already tell that there's going to be a point right here, which is at seven, 3.5. So remember with ratios, they're equivalent, right? It's going to be, you know, like the same distance. So 1, 1, 3.57, 9, 4.5. Yeah, the 9, 4.5 would work, right? You see, it needs to go in a straight line there when dealing with equivalent ratios. It's going to be a straight line, just kind of like proportional relationships, which you learn I think that would be in a later unit. Let me see. Let's come back. Proportional relationships. They might be in one of these units. If not, something you'll learn in the seventh grade. Okay, so this person pumped 56 balls. Uh, he pumped up five dodge balls for every nine, which is a total of 14. Okay, so how many to get to 56? Well, we already did this, right? Five to nine, 10 to 18. 15 to 27. Okay, so now you need to just add up and when do you get to 56? Oops, sorry, my screen erased. Um, okay, so that was a five to nine, 10 to 18, 15 to 27. And then it should be this one, 20 to 36, which gets you 56. So 20 dodgeballs, 36 other balls, total 56. And that is the entire unit. If you have any questions on anything specific, please let me know. I recommend you do practice the individual quizzes before doing the major quizzes. You can also watch the Khan Academy videos, but you don't really need to. You should be fine to do this unit. But if you have any questions, any specific questions, you can screenshot them and send them to me. Good luck.